Hey, what's going on guys? This is Platypus Bob, bringing you a video for the first time in a long time. And uh, it will be a Minecraft video. I've got Minecraft open here. Um... But it's not one of the videos that I said I'd do a while ago. Uh, I never got around to those. I've been kind of busy. That's why I haven't done many videos in a while. So you'll notice I'm in full screen. Whoa. And that's because um, I'm going to show you a pretty cool program that you may have heard of called Cartograph from Minecraft. It's pretty sweet. If you have Minecraft, you should definitely get this. And what it does is... Um, I'll open it to show you. Uh, which one is it? It's just uh, a little program that what it'll do is it'll actually give you a map of one of your Minecraft worlds. Um, and you can select any of the worlds you've made. Uh, it's pretty smart in that sense. And you can have a bunch of different types. And, uh, uh, and if you really want to, you can actually get like a bunch of different types of worlds and layer them on top of each other, as seen over here. But uh, what I'll show you first is uh, I'm going to make a world real quick, a small one, because this can take a while to do. So I'm just going to... Oh, another update. And I know there's another update. I was on 1.4. Uh, which I did not make a video about just because uh, most of it was pretty self-explanatory. Like, the biggest thing they really did was just change this uh, little logo. Alright, so I'm just going to create a new world. Um, I'll call it just Cardo. Yeah, no seed. No need for that. And uh, so if you're familiar with uh, Cartograph from before update 1.3 when like you couldn't name your files, it would just give you a big flat 2D map of the world. And it was, it was nice. Anywhere, you pretty, anywhere it had loaded would show up on this map. But um, now with this, it's called Cartograph G actually. I'll give you a link because, like I said, anyone who plays Minecraft should have this. It, um... Whoops, just moved the mic away from my mouth. Um, this one just has a lot more options. Um, it's pretty amazing, and it's free. That's the big thing. You don't need to worry about paying for it or trying to find some sort of way to download it illegally. Uh, let me just make sure my render settings are right. Uh, yeah, mine is far, because I was... Uh, I was doing a lot of exploring, just trying to make massive maps, just to see how it looked. So I had my render distance on far, just so I could load a lot. Now it's really laggy, because it's just loading. We'll let it do that for a second. And then uh, I'll show you, first of all, I'm going to do a couple things in this world. Uh, I'm going to collect some sand. And I'm doing this because if this ever gets less laggy, I don't know if it will. I don't usually play this full screen. I'm going to do this. Oh, double place. Awesome. And I'm just jumping around because of the lag. All right. I'm going to make like a large sort of structure over here. Can it reach? Yes. And that'll... And uh, on the map, that'll kind of be like my spawn. And I'll walk around just a little bit, because this is horrible, horrible lag. Um, and I guess I'll grab some dirt. And this is just this is just to show, to demonstrate how you can make uh, like checkpoints almost, uh, or landmarks. I guess is the more proper term, like on your map, because you can't see your character when you make the map. Darn, this uh, lag is just making me place blocks all over the place. There we go. Alright. So now I'm just going to save and quit to the title. 
Let's do this real quick. And now, cartograph is open. I don't know if it'll have the new world. Not yet. All right, I'll have to reopen it. All right, there it is. You can see uh, the new world I made is there. You don't have to like bother typing anything in. So if I typed in, or if I if I want my style to be normal, that'll just be uh, exactly like the old, the old uh, cartograph. Sorry, I can't think of what I'm saying. So I'll let it do this real quick just to show you what it looks like. Uh, it can take a little while. Uh, yeah, this percentage thing, it'll go up, uh, in little chunks. Like, you see, it didn't say, like, anything between 1 and 100. You just have to expect that. Alright, so then it saves it right into this folder that'll be made. I'll explain that in a second. Open it up in whatever viewer thing you have. And here is the map. I'll zoom way in. Now, on this map, it's pretty hard to tell where I was, or, you know, what was going on at all. I think, uh, because it's all 2D, uh, it's really hard to tell anything except water depth. I think, let me zoom in a little more. I think this is the area I was just messing around in, but I'm not positive with my spawn being right here. But if I was to go, I'll close this, back to cartograph, and select isometric, what we're going to get is a th more 3D map. So if I make a big sort of like structure, I'll be able to see that on the map and I'll know where I am. So um, this downloads as a RAR file, whatever the heck that is. To open it up, you're going to need to use like a program like Win RAR. Uh, downloading that's pretty easy. And then you just get everything in this one folder. You can't, like, and you need to use this to open it. You can't make that your own icon because all this stuff needs to be together. It's pretty basic stuff. So let's have a look at this. All right, so as you can see, this is a pretty sweet uh, view of the map. Um, you can even see, like, where it drops off on the sides, and you can actually see, like, the cross sections of the caves, which I think is pretty awesome. And, I, yeah, I was right. The area where I was was right here. I'll zoom in some more so you can see it. All right, where was it? This over here is that little sand thing I made. It might be hard to see on YouTube, but on my computer it's pretty clear. And then right here is that little dirt thing I made. Make, so my spawn's right over here. Um, so right now this is probably really boring, but I could show you like a really large map and just see how how cool this will look so this is this is my map p bob's farm that i've shown you multiple times um if you're familiar with it you'll recognize this area down at the bottom i think sort of this is where i first uh spawned and built my little stuff near this pit of lava this is the area where i was building my house this is that big long uh tunnel down to darkness. This is where I was lining up those trees in my last video. Um, so congrats if you're paying enough attention to know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, but then what I did was, to, uh, actually I was, I was planning on doing a, uh, this is kind of silly, I was planning on doing a uh, 1.4 update video because I read online from a false source that there would be volcanoes in the uh, 1.4 update. So I got really excited, and I started walking around everywhere looking for volcanoes, and uh, I never found one, and then I saw that that was just, just false. So it's, uh, it's just really, really intricate. You can see everything here. Um, yeah, you can see all the different textures, all the different heights, and uh, real quick, maybe I could show you one of the special types of maps, like uh, you could select cave mode. I'll do cave mode in, uh, I'll do cardo since it's nice and small. It might not show anything, but, uh, this one's cool because it shows all the caves only and it shows how much light is touching each of them. So, uh, hopefully, 
Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I don't think it will since this is a really tiny, tiny uh, little level. I don't even know what to talk about right now. I uh, This is probably getting to be a long video. Yeah. Darn it. All right. I did not intend for that at all. So I'll finish this up very soon. All right. Uh, here we go. Awesome. All right. So this is all the caves. Um, let me zoom this in just a bit. Anywhere blue, I'm pretty sure, is just a completely dark cave. I'm pretty sure then the color of the, uh, you know, the of the other parts is indicative of how much light's touching it. So if there's lava in there or if it's uh, exposed to the outside, then you can, um, you know, you can tell. Like, that's where you can find the entrances. And uh, if I had more time... I would be able to show you. You know, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Uh, you can do... One second. I don't remember how to do this. All right. You can have layers on top of each other. So, if this is the cave... Uh, cave mode map. And this is a normal one with, uh, you know, just my normal map. And uh, this one's on top. If I render this, which might take a little while, uh, they'll be on top of each other. There might be some sort of program you can use to do that on your computer. Um, I don't know what it is, because I don't know too much about computers at all. So so it's, it's nice that it can do all of this for you. And there are other um, things. There's one that makes, like, all wool visible, all the wool colors only. That's pretty cool. Um, there's one that gets rid of all the water. Um, you can also do upside down, which is pretty cool. So you can see, um, you can like predict where the holes in the bottom of your map will be. So, uh, cause I don't know if you know this, but if you dig down all the way, you probably know this, there'd be holes actually, um, at the bottom that you can fall through, lose all your stuff, die. It's no fun. But if you do this, uh, you know, you're not going to have that problem. I really like how you can see all the caves on the sides here. Oh, it's done. Sweet. I think it's done. All right, let's have a look. Two renders. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. All right, so at first this looks like a mess, like what's going on. But if we zoom this in, hopefully I'll find a good place to demonstrate this. I think the spawn was somewhere in the middle, and there's a tiny cave next to it. Um, I don't know. It looks like you can assume that this is an area where, where a cave would be, like an opening in the ground, because that's where a lot of the light is. Uh, same as over here. This is probably, or that's just something underground. I'm no expert on this, so I hope I'm not feeding you lies. That's not my intention at all. All right, so this video is getting way too long. Um, I I truly apologize for that. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my introduction. I I put more thought into that than this video clearly. So uh, I'll see you next time.